Yankees hosting the Blue Jays, and the Blue Jays are plus 115 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 140. The over-under is nine runs. The Blue Jays getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Now, Kikuchi pitched a bunch against the Yankees last year. One, two, three, four, six times, or at least he appeared in six games against the Yankees. Three and a third, three runs, two of which were earned. They lost four nothing in New York. Six innings, one run, one earned. They won two to one in Toronto. Five and a third, two runs, two earned. They lost six five in New York. Four innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game ten to nine. That was in Toronto. One inning, no runs, no earned. They won ninth two in New York. And then Two-thirds of an inning, no runs, no earned. They lost that game 8-3, to three, and that was in Toronto. Now, Jermon did not pitch against the Blue Jays last year, and these are two guys who I really, really, really do not trust. And if you go back to my videos last year, it's the same thing with Kikuchi because, man, did he get me in a lot of games. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is 7-3. and three. The road team has won the last two games. The Yankees are on a two-game winning streak against the Blue Jays. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been two one-run games in their last 10, one in their last three. The under has hit in their last, uh, the under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the under 9 is also 6-4 and four in their last 10. The last game that they played, the Yankees beat the Blue Jays 8-3. The game before that, they beat them 5-2. The game before that, the Blue Jays beat the Yankees 3-2. And all of those games were in Toronto. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Blue Jays are 1-3. I don't know if this is including some of the games that these teams are playing today, so I'm just going to rattle them off. We had 11 runs, 6 runs, and 9 runs. They scored uh, and 9 runs again. So they scored 1 run and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a win, and one run in a loss. Now for the Yankees, they've won four out of their last five. This is showing the game that they played today. They've won three out of their last four. Two runs, seven runs, five runs, and 12 runs. The Yankees scored two in a win, two in a loss, three in a win, and nine in a win. This is like what happens when bad meets evil. Like who do I trust more? I'm going to roll with the stats and take the Blue Jays with the money line, the Blue Jays getting the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.